Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matero and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Wheeze DNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video now this video is all about on how to install all of HKH191 mods inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder this video is basically for all of HKH191 mods okay but there's been so many errors inside the discord support server that people have been saying that they cannot see the folder for Lemon UI. Or they keep saying that they cannot see the enable or interiors on their phone. So I'll be going step by step on how to install these most important files inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. The first thing that you must do, okay, is download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Now, if your game is pirated, or if it's a free version, then I highly recommend buying the game. This will not work on a free game version, okay? So next, uh, once you have downloaded and installed all of the latest requirements, then download this mod, and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now next, download Lemon UI. Now usually I tell everybody to download Lemon UI through here, but there seems to be a problem with people saying that they cannot see the folder. So if you cannot see the folder inside here, okay, then go to the Lemon UI source, okay. Now I scroll down and now go down to 1.5.2 and then download that like that, okay. And then uh, I will download it too, so you guys know the proof that I downloaded, okay? So I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'm going to go to Enable All Interiors, and I will download that too. Make sure that you always download the latest version. And I will download that too. So I have already finished downloading my files. Once you have downloaded your files, I've got mine over here, so let's open them up. Now open up Enable All Interiors. Now let's go straight to it, okay? So, all you've got to do is go to your Grand Theft Audio V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now before you do anything, okay, you must go to your script.v.net.ini file double click and now make sure really important change your reload key to insert then save your file now if you do not have squids folder make sure that you go to your folder right click create a new folder and name that folder scripts which I don't need to because I already got one okay so once you have done that, okay, go to your squits folder. Now really important, make sure that you do spell squits correct and make sure that it's all lowercase. Open up your squits folder. Now if you do have other files in here, then don't worry, it won't collide. Now, first thing first, open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Go to your SHVDN2 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. 
Now this next step is optional. Open up your SHVDN3 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Lastly, open up your enable all interiors extract folder. Go to this folder, then go to your scripts folder. Then select all the files and folder except for the text files. Then drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now, next go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are in the game. So as you can see, I'm in the game, and my game did not crash. So, to actually enable the interiors, okay, as you can see on my, on my map, okay, most of the interiors isn't enabled, okay. Well, you can see them, but when you go through the building, you'll fall underneath the map. So before you do go inside the buildings, you must enable the maps. So, open up your phone, okay, go to your phone, go to your contacts, then now go right down to the bottom and you'll see enable all interiors. So that works. Go to your contact like that. Then go to change and interior. Now, unfortunately, I didn't install any of these mods, okay? So if I do enable these and go through the buildings, I'll fall underneath the map, okay? Uh, well, some of them are war, some of them I won't. But, um, but the most important thing, okay, is that you must go to MISC options, then go to load MP maps, okay, and change that to true. Then go to enable blitz, change that to true. Now this next step is optional, but I always go to random color blips and change that to true. Now back out of your menu to go to your main menu, then go to refresh interiors. Now wait for a few seconds. Then now on your keyboard, press insert. Now your game will freeze for only a few seconds. And then there you go. Now once you go to your map, okay, you can see that it's changed colors and etc. And you can go inside the buildings, okay? So let's go and give this a little test, okay? And let's go inside a building. It's whatever, yeah. Okay. So I will see you guys there. And now we are here at the Life Invader. Now in the Life Invader, usually you cannot go in there, only Michael can. Because, yeah, technically Michael does the uh, heist in here, so only Michael can go in there during the uh, mission, okay? So, uh, once you come out, come into over here, okay, let's go and test this out to see if it's working. So, let's go and see if it works. See new service. So as you can see, I can go inside the building, okay? So that means the open all interiors does work. But this video is to show you guys on how to install the most important files for all of HKH111 mods. And most importantly, is to show you guys the proof that the folder for the SHVDN3 and 2 is inside Lemon UI Extract folder. And we're back again, so I hope you guys did enjoy that. But, like always, okay, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or, if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. But, if you guys do need more help or support for all of HKH101 mods, then I will leave his Discord server inside my description below and make sure that you do join the support channels, okay? For more help and support for his mods. Or if you do need fast reply for any issues for any other mods, then join my Discord server and I will leave my Discord server inside my description below. So go and check that out. So with that all said, if you guys did like this video, 
or if this video was helpful please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and i'll see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out